So talk about uh, this is your first chance to play against UCLA. Big game, first place on the line, and now you guys can actually talk about it. Um, I'm super excited. Um, you know, I was a Duke fan growing up, and so you know I knew about all the blue blue bloods and all that. So I always watch UCLA as well. And um, so that's just one of those games that you don't even have to get worked up for it. You're already, you know, anxious. And then um, Tiger Campbell, he's a former uh, teammate of mine. He used to play on one of my AU teams, so I really want to play him as well. And yeah, like, we're ready. And they're in first place. We're in second place. We win this game. We'd be in first place, I guess, or tied. And so this is it's, it's a lot of stakes riding on this. But at the end of the day, just another game, you know, we take it one day at a time, trying to get the win. And um, you know you win, you know, good things happen. So. What, what you, your team was that that you played on with Tigers? Um, it was called WACG All-Stars, We All Can Go. And it had, it actually had me, Tiger, Marvin Bagley, which was Marcus Bagley, see, Bagley's big older brother, um, John Petty, um, Darius Garland, a lot, of, a lot of good players. So, yeah, that was a fun team. Is it possible to almost be like, Yeah, and I, um, I definitely take a page from that Arizona book um, because in that game I was, I would say overly prepared, too ready for the game, and I feel like, you know, just thinking, <laughs> overthinking the game and what you're gonna do, um, it can really take away from just being in the moment and you know just being ready to play and take whatever, you know, how the game um, goes, and so, yeah, just thinking about that. Um, Kind of helps you prepare for a game like this. So, having played with Tiger before, what, how have you seen his game evolve, and what would you say his strengths are? Um, I would say he's become a true. Well, he was always a good point guard, but now like everything, just all his skills, you know, just increase. Like he can really run a team, figure out what their team needs in times of you know when in term or term term oil when they're you know not playing well. And um, he can facilitate, shoot, get to any spot on the court. So overall, he's a really good player, really good point guard. But you know, we we play really good defense, so he's gonna have a hard time. Um, you know, well, we're gonna try to make it a hard time. You know, doing whatever you know it is that he wants to do. So. You excited for the atmosphere on Thursday? Man, you you don't understand, bro. I'm so excited. Like like these these are the games that you really. Um, you really look forward to. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to be too too overly excited like the Arizona game, but yeah, I'm ready to, ready to go. This one's for uh, both of you guys. The team's 15 and 3, haven't lost a conference game yet. Uh, going up against number five UCLA, but still unranked. Do you guys feel a little disrespected by that? Um, honestly, you know, coach, coach talks about that. You know, he feels like uh, we haven't got our respect, you know, but that's not going to change how we play. You know, we're going to. Especially, we're gonna play especially hard for this game because this is for number one spot in the pack. So you know we're looking forward to that. But um, honestly, <laughs> like we've been um, underrated like our whole lives, so it ain't it's nothing new. Right. And you know you want to be there, but you know, like at the end of the day, you know it, it is what it is. Yeah. Couldn't say it better myself. So you know if you keep winning, they have no choice but to respect you. So that's that's my motto. You just keep you know shining. And they have no choice but to see you. So, you guys have a great record in close games. What were the main factors in that? Oh, well, one of them is him. <laughs> <laughs> big shot maker, him, DJ. You know, those are go-to guys. You know, if we need a big shot, you know, they can create their own. And like you said, our emphasis is on defense. You know, just making those stops and like, like we rely like on our defense. And you know, if you can defend, you know. You're it, it makes up for a lot of stuff because, like, I'm listening to, like, commentaries and stuff, they say we, we're not great at anything. Like, you know, they say we don't shoot it good, we don't shoot free throws good, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, as long as we defend, man, that was done kept us in, in a lot of good games. And, and yeah. And, and just to add on that, I say we have we have poise. We, we've been – we've played a bunch of games. Like the Col Colorado game, I will always – revert back to that one because there's just no way that we should have won that game in my opinion like it was literally crazy <laughs> how that happened and I still go back to this day and rewatch like the last five or ten minutes because it was just so insane and um, when you have that to go back on you're, you're able to stay calm 
like in the situation like when when the ball went through his hands and um I forget his name, but the point guard shot the three the last game versus Oregon State. That's a time where, you know, you could fracture and, you know, you could start pointing fingers and blaming people. But, you know, we just stayed together, stayed solid. And what are we going to do in the next play to win this game? Because at the end of the day, if you win, the mistakes, you know, are forgotten. So, so. Defensively, yeah. I mean, I know you touched on it, but how big is it? You know, obviously to play as a group, but to frustrate, like you said, somebody like, like Tiger, just to kind of get them out of rhythm early. Um, I think like mind games. Uh, that's what I that's what I call them. Like are big, are important too. And uh, I'm kind of one of those guys, you know, like just feeling. Cause sometimes it's just about basketball. You're just going out there and playing. But sometimes if you're like an evenly matched team, what's going to give you that edge over the next? And you know, you might, you know, say something in in the guy's ear here or there and make him act out of character or do something because you said something to him and now he's thinking about that and not about the team. You feel me? So, you know, it's all a part of the game. And uh, yeah, I just think since we're have veteran guys and older guys, we we know that. And so, yeah, it's all all is fair. You know, when you're in between the lines. So. What might you say to Tiger to get him out of rhythm? Mm. <laughs> We're not going to say that on camera. <laughs> we, but, yeah, man. But, but, literally, it could literally be anything. Um, usually you try to go, you know, personally, personally attack someone because that gets, you know, your feelings and emotions involved. So, yeah, it literally, yeah, it's not, it's not, yeah, it would be tailored to whatever, you know, that person. I feel like their weakness is, you know. So. You expect it back from him? Um, it really doesn't matter because it's hard to fluster me. So, you know, good luck with that. So. Devin, we know you played in the NCAA tournament with Auburn, but Des, would you say this is the biggest game you played in college yet? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that because the, the stakes riding on this game is, is definitely bigger than any one that I've had. So, yeah, uh, that, that could be true. Dev, like, where would this rank for you? Um, say around third, because I know uh, we we could have tied our last year. We could have tied the regular season championship if we had lost our last game. So that was a big one. Then you know, going to the NCAA tournament, that that's also a big one. But this one is also going for a number one spot. So like, it's it's, it's definitely up there, top three. Devin, what's your reaction to uh, Des getting packed on? Uh, you know, I'm happy for him. You know, we all we also love to our family. You know, um, you know, like I said, he's a big part of this team. You know, him and DJ, you know, they can score it at a high clip. And yeah, it's nothing new, really. Yeah, you know, well, for this right. conference, but you know, he's been doing it his whole career. Right. Yeah. The first time the students are on campus since they come back from winter break, what's your guys' message to them for this? Um, please show up. Like I said, I promise y'all that uh, we're going to change the culture here, and I think we kept our part. And, yeah, y'all pack that thing out Thursday, and, you know, we're going to come to play. And give you a show. Give you a show. <laughs>